house set against an evening background. Uh, this uh, lighthouse is white in color and since I will be painting this sky very quickly I have masked it with masking fluid. So I used a color shaper and then I applied a very liberal coating of this fluid in this region and then I allowed it to dry for two hours. So now I'm ready to paint. Now you can see that I haven't uh, fixed this paper on my table. So when I apply water on this paper, this paper is going to buckle and I want to prevent that so I turn it and then I spray some water. I take a damp brush and I wet it properly. Now this water will act like a glue and and this paper will be will remain fixed on the table. Now I want to paint wet on wet so I am wetting the whole paper now. So this sky will have a warm tone and that warm tone will be reflected in the water here and here we have a land mass. You will see what kind of a land mass uh, we would like to paint towards the end. But the most important thing that I want to get through this video is to paint a sunset sky. Not a sunset sky but actually an evening sky. So I think I have applied enough water, the paper is damp and it's shining if I look it at an angle. And now I'll allow the paper to dry. Here I have already pre-mixed a few color. This is a mixture of Naples yellow with cadmium yellow light. This is vermilion mixed with cadmium yellow right. This is burnt sienna mixed with purple. And this is crimson alizarine. This is rose madder. And this is ultramarine mixed with burnt sienna. And here I have pure purple color. Now to begin the process, I take the yellow and apply it at the top and then bring it down. So this will be the base color and as I go down I make some, I use the same color but vertical strokes to show, to give an impression of uh, reflection. I can add a little bit of pure Naples yellow. I think that is okay. So that is the first coat that I have applied and now I, w I will introduce a mixture of rose madder close to the horizon you see I have introduced some warmth in the sky and yes, we will then introduce this color in the water and allow it to dry. Now the paper is too wet at the moment so I, I won't do much right now. 
but simply wait for it to dry a bit. I think I can introduce some clouds, cloud formation. I think now I will wait a bit with a mixture of purple and brown I introduce some darkness close to the horizon I think it should have a little bit more purple in it Some more I'm using a horizontal stroke and carrying this color all the way to the top and then I make some vertical strokes and carry those colors down in the water Now using a an almost dry brush I pick up the color which will form the reflection of the White House. The paper is shining a lot at the moment which shows that there is enough water. The paper is really very damp so I need to wait for some time before I can introduce more colors. But I think I can go and put some colors here. So I take a number 10 round sable brush and start putting some dark color.
you see I'm intentionally leaving some uh, some paper showing through this is kind of a dry brush technique my brush was not very damp so when I rubbed it against the rough paper uh, I have left some of the paper leaving through And now this ground surface will dry a lot lighter. So I will make it add more pigment and make it really dark. I'm using warm color because the the whole tone of this painting is on the warmer side and the sky will the sky color will be also be reflected in the grounds I really want this lighthouse to stand out a bit so I have to increase the contrast and to increase the contrast I need to put some dark colors around this this lighthouse and we'll see how we do it I mean, this is basically done by introducing some darker colors around Introducing some more red in here. Need to have some cloudy. So now we have a nice sky. Let us now work a bit on the water. So 
again I take the same color and make some vertical strokes introduce all those colors which are there on the sky also in the water As you come closer towards the corner, have some dark color in there. And then just make a few I think that is enough. I think I'll now allow it to dry for some, some minutes. Now using a rubber I'm now going to take off this. See how clean and nice I have this. And now I can go on and paint on top of that.
This is a brush, dry brush technique. This is a 